We're being joined today by Michigan Workers' Compensation Attorney Jeffrey Kirshner. Mr. Kirshner, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kirshner, you've been practicing law since 1994. How many workers' compensation cases would you say you've handled? I, along with my office, have handled thousands of workers' compensation cases over the years. I've heard that employees of the federal government have special workers' compensation rules that apply to them. Is that true? That is true. If you're dealing with someone such as a postal worker, they have their own system, a federal workers' compensation system, something different from what my office specializes in. So does it matter what the type or the severity of the injury is, or are all on-the-job injuries covered by workers' compensation? No, it's irrelevant what the injury is, whether it be a hangnail, whether it be a crush injury, whether a death, it's all covered by workers' compensation. So does workers' compensation cover just the employee's medical bills, or does it also cover lost wages and other expenses, such as long-term care or ongoing physical therapy? Well, that depends on the injury and whether or not somebody is disabled. If somebody is injured in the course of their employment, then they are automatically entitled to medical benefits, whether they never miss a moment of work, or whether they're never able to work again for the rest of their life, they're always entitled to medical care that's both reasonable and necessary, but just for the work-related condition. They're not entitled to a Blue Cross card or insurance to cover all their conditions. In order, though, to get disability benefits or wage loss benefits, someone has to prove that they are also disabled because of the work-related condition. Does an employee have to be injured at his or her workplace to be covered by workers' compensation? Not necessarily at the workplace, although that's where most cases happen. Uh, if you are in the course and scope of your employment, and for instance you are running an errand, you're driving your car going from your employer to uh, another facility and you get involved in an accident, that is covered too, but it has to be at least in the course and scope of your employment if you're actually not on the company premises. Many employees seeking workers' compensation don't feel like they can trust a doctor that's been provided by the employer. Can an injured employee be treated by his or her doctor? Yes, but for the very first 10 days that somebody is injured, the employee has to treat with whoever the employer asks them to treat for. After those 10 days, you are free to choose anyone that you choose to treat with. Also, if within those first 10 days you've asked your employer to get medical treatment and they refuse to provide you with a name of a doctor or a company clinic, in that circumstance you can also go treat with someone that you choose to treat with. Okay. So what should an employee do when their employer denies, limits, or cuts off the workers' compensation benefits that the employee deserves? A couple things. The first thing I, I think they should do is I think they should put something in writing to the employer, send it by certified mail as well so you get proof, you get the green card proof that you've sent them notice that you are still unable to work or at least in need of medical treatment. Second thing I should think that they should do is more likely than not contact an attorney at least to get advice if not representation. So it sounds like the best way to ensure that someone receives the workers' compensation they deserve is to discuss a, their case with an experienced lawyer like you. Um, is there anything important that we've missed here? that you'd like to say to our viewers who are trying to collect workers' compensation? Well, first of all, you don't have to have an attorney to uh, have your case heard in Michigan, having a lawsuit. I would strongly encourage it, though. The laws have changed over the past 10 years or so. It's made it much more difficult for an individual to get benefits. I think you are at a distinct disadvantage if you don't have a knowledgeable attorney, at least to get advice, if not representation. My office has limited our practice to injury law, primarily workers' compensation law, throughout the years. We have three experienced attorneys uh, that all they practice are workers' compensation and disability benefits. Uh, we are free for our consultations, whether it be on the telephone or coming into our office, and we're more than happy to talk to you. Even if you don't need our services but just have some issues or questions you need to address, we're more than happy to talk to you. Thank you, Mr. Christian. Thank you.